Right, hi everyone and welcome to Yoga With Me Claire. Um, just a few general things before I start. Um, just remember my instructions are just suggestions and to listen to your body. Um, what might have felt okay another, another day like yesterday might not feel right today. So always listen to your body. If it doesn't feel right, stop immediately. Um, you can always go into child's pose um, and then join back in when you're ready. And um, the second thing is to remember to be barefoot so you don't slip and slide in the postures. Okie doke, I'm gonna hop onto my mat. Okay, we're gonna start in our easy pose. Teddy's gonna annoy us. So that's our legs crossed, our sikasana. I'm gonna ground our sitting bones to the ground, roll the shoulders back, zip up your abs, chin parallel to the floor, crown nice and high. And either close your eyes or gaze down at your nose and just find your breath. So with yoga, we try and breathe in and out through our nose if possible. So as you breathe in, feel your lungs expand. And as you breathe out, feel your sitting bones melt into the floor. Mobilization. So on an exhale, we're going to look over one shoulder, inhale to centre, and then exhale to the other side. So go with your own breath. If you take, well, I'm going to do my right arm, but you can do it every arm you want. So take your right arm and put it on your left knee and then put your other hand behind your back for a nice twist. So on each exhale, you can twist slightly deeper into that if you can. It's completely up to you. Center, and then you're going to switch sides. So, sit hand opposite me, another hand behind your back. Last breath here, and we're going back to center. And then we're going to go into our tabletop position, so it's on all fours. So for this one, you want to make sure your knees are hip width apart, your hands are shoulder width apart. And you're going to ground through through your fingers, so your thumb and your little finger and your forefinger and the tops of your feet. And then as you inhale, you're going to raise your tailbone up and open up your heart. And as you exhale, you're going to curl your back like a Halloween cat. Inhale up. Exhale down. Go with your own breath. So as you inhale, feel your shoulder blades slide down your back. And as you exhale, feel yourself pushing into the floor. And remember to keep your belly button pulled towards your spine to get your abs working. Okay, so we've got a few options here. So you can either keep doing the cat cow, we're gonna add in a balancing table, which is more balancing one to get your abs working. So for our balancing table, we're gonna extend the right leg out, just make sure it's in front of you, so you don't want it up here or down there, you want a nice straight line, and flex that heel, and we're gonna extend the opposite hand, so left hand out, right leg out. 
Uh, make sure your gaze is down so your neck is nice and neutral. And then we're going to um, crunch our elbow to our knees. We're going to curl our back and then out. We're going to do it three times. Two and three. And put your hand and knee back down. Check your positioning that you're still balanced. And then we're going to do it on the other side. So extend your left leg out, flex that heel and right hand. And then we're going to crunch our knee to elbow for one. Inhale up. Two and three. Okay. And then we're going to get really far first down the dog. So what we want to do is just put our hands a little bit further forwards. We're going to tuck our toes, give those toes a nice stretch, and then we're going to drive our tailbone up to the sky. So you might need to step your feet a little bit further forwards. So for our downward dog, you want your feet hip width apart, your tailbone nice and high, head hanging between your shoulders or between your biceps even. And um, so for this pose, your aim is to get a nice straight back. So if you bend your knees and your back's nice and straight, that's good. You're aiming to push your heels to the floor, but not everyone will be there. I'm still not there yet. So inhale and exhale here. Feel the energy flow out through your heels. Okay, we can also pedal our feet here, especially if you've got tight hamstrings. So a nice bit of pedaling. Stretch out the feet, the legs even. And the feet. Okay, and we're going to walk our feet to our hands and to our first forward fold. Let's walk the feet to the hands. So for our forward fold, we want our feet either hip width apart or touching, it's up to you. And have a nice hinge at our hips. You might want to bend your knees so there's less pressure on your lower back. It's folding down. So with your hands, you've got a few options. You can put them on the floor, ankles, shins, or you can hug your elbows and sway like a rag doll. So in this position, it's really good to calm your nervous system because your head is below your heart. Okay, one more breath here. And then we're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time into our mountain pose. So for our mountain pose, we're going to ground down into our feet. So first of all, Sort of lean back in your feet so the weight's in the heel and you go forwards into the ball to the left and to the right we're just going to ground down so feel your weight on all four sides of your feet and we're grounding down and then from the middle upwards we're floating up there's an invisible thread holding our crown nice and high shoulders rolled back palms open so we're going to do three breaths here where you breathe in nice and deep through your nose and then we're going to breathe out through our mouth. So first one. Deep inhale. Exhale through your mouth. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, we're going to do a sun salutation now. So on an inhale, we're going to raise our arms nice and high with a slight flat bend. Exhale, we're going to swallow dive and hinge at the hips into our forward fold. Then we're going to inhale to flat back, open up the ribs. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. So for your plank, we'll just go a bit slower. Here, we're getting a good plank. So you can either do it on your knees if you prefer or you can go upwards. You want your weight over your shoulders, so you're on your tippy toes. We're just going to hold this for three breaths, actually, before we carry on. So squeeze your bottom. Make sure your belly button's pulled towards your spine. And gaze down. Okay, to Chaturanga, we're going to bend our elbows and come down. And then you can either go all the way down and do a an upward dog or cobra, or you can come down and hover like so. Okay, inhale, right, exhale, downward dog. 
Inhale, raise the right leg up. Exhale, lunge forwards. We're going to go into warrior two. So we want to put the back foot at 90 degrees. So facing that way, front foot forwards. You need to check your positioning here. You need to, that your ankle and knee are aligned. Don't be over it because it's bad for your joints. So nice and aligned. You need to wiggle your toes further forward. Face forward towards me, arms out, gazing over that front middle finger. Roll your shoulders back. Warrior two. Right, one more breath here. Okay, we're gonna inhale and have cactus arms. A little bit of a stretch there. Then we're gonna exhale and come upright. We're gonna twist our feet so that our toes are pointing out. So you just need to reposition. So heels in, toes out, arms are bent, and we're gonna go down into our goddess pose, which is a nice squat here. Let's do a few breaths here. Okay, one last breath. Then we come upright. And this time we're going to turn our feet slightly inwards so you want your feet parallel. If anything, if you've got a bit of sciatica, point your toes a bit more inwards, but otherwise nice and parallel on your feet. We're going to hold onto our hips and we're going to hinge forward into a wide leg forward fold. Nice hinge down. You can either put your hands on the floor in front of you, on your ankles or calves, wherever they may be. If you want to go slightly lower, you just need to make your legs slightly wider apart. So tailbone nice and high, belly button pulled towards your spine. And breathe. Okay, the next thing we're going to go into a fan. So we're going to bend our right knee and turn our left foot up into our fan. So here, you want a nice straight back, chest open. If you want, you can test your balance or you can keep your hands on the floor, it's up to you. So keep that other foot flexed. And try and hold this for three breaths. Ooh, gosh, I have to stand up. Okay, last breath. Now we're going to switch sides. Just walk your hands across, bend the opposite knee, and the other foot comes upright. Again, either hands on the floor or you can try and test your balance. It's completely up to you. Tailbone's nice and low, back straight. Okay, hands back down. We're going back into our wide leg forward fold. So feet again parallel, all pointing inwards. And this time we're gonna interlink our hands behind our backs, hinge and raise the arms up for a nice shoulder stretch. Okay, one more breath here. And we come all the way up. We're going to do our body squat one more time. So this time, point the toes out. So heel, oops, heels in, toes out, cactus arms, and bend at the knees. Goddess squat. One last breath. Now we're going to transition into our warrior two. So we're going to keep our back leg, our right leg, we're at 90 degrees, and the front leg, the left one, we're going to twist the foot forward and lunge into that front leg. Open up the hips to the front, warrior two. Gaze over that front middle finger. If you want, you can go slightly deeper into the lunge on each exhale. You want your weight in the outside of your back foot. 
Okay, we're going to cartwheel the hands over and go into our plank. And then bring your so We're going to go down to our chaturanga. Exhale, inhale up for double cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Now three breaths here. Then I'm going to step forwards. I'm actually going to come into the middle of the mat because we're going to just do some balancing poses here. So I'm going to ground my left foot down, get hold of my right knee. Okay, there's a few options. We're going to do the tree pose. So we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. So number one would be putting your foot on your ankle, hands to heart. So with your thumb on your collarbone, elbows nice and high. So this is number one. If you want to test your balance, you can close your eyes here. Number two is putting your foot on your calf. So if this is your happy place, stay here. And number three is putting your foot into your thigh. So if you do that, you're going to push your foot into your thigh and your thigh into your foot. So whatever you do, do not put it over your knee joint. There's three options there. Okay, we're going to make it slightly harder now. So to keep your balance, you want to focus on one thing. So we're going to raise our arms up into a squaring tree. If you want, we can always do cactus hands and lean back. So inhale, cactus hands. Exhale, hands to heart. So if we do another breath here. Okay, we're going to let that knee go. Wiggle everything around. There we go. And I'm going to go on the other side. We're going to ground the right foot down, nice and comfortable. And I'm going to hold the left knee. Okay, again, we've got our three options. So, hands to heart, you can either go on your ankle and close your eyes to test it even more, on your shin or all the way up to your thigh. Pushing your foot into your thigh and your thigh into your foot. Okay, you can put your arms up to test your balance. And we'll inhale, cactus arms. Exhale, hands to heart. So, a couple more breaths. Last breath, and when you're ready, we're going to shake those legs out. We're going to do some work on the floor. Okay, so we're going to do a bridge pose next. So for our bridge, you want to be lying down and be able to tickle your heels with your fingers. And then I normally turn my palms up so that I can't push with my hands. And then you're going to drive your hips up into your bridge. So push through your heels and your feet and drive up. If you're happy here, you can stay here. If you want to go slightly higher, you can interlink your hands under your back and walk your shoulders towards each other so you can get slightly higher. So wherever you are, for your bridge pose, you want to be squeezing your bottom, your glutes, holding your, pulling your belly button towards your spine. And then also with your legs, you want to pretend there's a block between your inner thighs and you're pushing it together. And just keep smiling as well. Okay, one more breath here. And then we're going to come down nice and slowly. And we're going to rock our knees in. So you can either rock from side to side, or you can try the rock and roll one. We come up and then back down. This one's quite good fun. Your feet aren't supposed to touch the floor there. Rock and roll. There we go. Or just hold your knees, whatever works for you. Okay, we're just going to do our happy baby windscreen wipers and then our shavasana. So for our happy baby, there's two ways. You can either take your 
feet from the outside and pull them down towards you. Or I like to hook my big toe and do it from the inside if I find I'm a bit more stable. So if you're a happy baby, you want your feet parallel to the floor and you're pushing, pulling your knees down to the floor as well. You can rock from side to side. It's a really good hip opener. Okay, bring your legs back down and then we're going to bring, we'll start with our right knee. So we're going to bring our right knee up to our chest, pull it to the side for a nice side stretch. If you want, you can turn your neck to the other side, it's completely up to you. I prefer to keep it this side. Okay, one more breath here. Back to centre, swap sides, so hug your left knee in and twist to the right. In one more breath. Inhale to centre, hug those knees in, we're going to tuck our head into our hip shawl and then explode into our Shavasana. So your Shavasana is your last pose, it's your corpse pose. So you want your ankles rolled out, palms facing up, just relax. Okay, you can stay here for five, ten minutes, I'm just going to do one minute today. So. We're going to tense all our muscles, our fingers, our toes, our tummy, our bottoms, our legs, face, eyes. Tense all your muscles. And then on an exhale, release that tension. Feel your stresses melt away into the floor. Return to your normal breathing. Relax your jaw. Take your tongue off the roof of your mouth. clear your mind. If you struggle clearing your mind, I like the mantra, breathe in peace, breathe out stress. When you're ready, take a deep breath in. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Twist your wrists and your ankles. Rock your neck from side to side, or your head even. Bring your knees to your chest, a little rock, massaging your lower back. And then when you're ready, return to a seated position back into our supasana. Okay, we're going to inhale, raise those arms up with a slight back bend. Exhale, hands to heart. Namaste. May the light within me salute the light within you. And thank you for joining me today.